Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 28th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather, and as well earthquakes. Having a look at our sun for the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, still a couple bright regions in the southern hemisphere, and nothing else new with the sun today. Still observing that pretty large filament eruption from yesterday's show. And that energy will be heading towards our planet, giving us a glancing blow. Close look at the last 48 hours incoming. No major sunspots to talk about. A couple bright friary regions. But again, not much to talk about. Pretty quiet sun today. Outgoing position, no events. CMEs, flares. These sunspots are in B-class range right now. Having a look at multi-spectrum. And again, showing that large plasma filament. 171 angstroms here, so we can see the darker regions pointing out the coronal holes. So we have one in the northern hemisphere and as well one just south of the equator on the sun. Building and getting ready for an earth facing position. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3. As you can see nothing to report there either. Except for Mars scooting by there. Real time solar wind we're sitting at about 375 kilometers per second. We were up just over 400 earlier today, but it's been pretty quiet. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, is in B-class range. KP index is a slightly elevated today. Geomagnetic activity in the 3 range. KP index of 3. And into tomorrow, 30th and into the 1st, we will be... Seeing this glancing blow affecting Earth and as well Venus. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10. As you can see, quite a calm compared to yesterday. Power of 10 and quality of 5.8. Let's have a look at earthquakes today as we started off the day with a very sizable Largest of the week, largest the last couple of weeks, a 7.5 earthquake in Barranca, Peru, at 112 kilometer depth. And that was about 5 a.m. this morning, Eastern Standard Time. As well, just south of there in Calo, Peru, a 5.1. And one reported earthquake here in Valparaiso, Chile, 4.0. 4.5 here in Colombia, 23 kilometer depth. And as well, seeing lots of activity coming back to Puerto Rico today. Largest through the region was a 3.3. Sorry, 3.5. And as well, lots of action. Texas into White City, New Mexico. Coyonosa, Texas, 3.3 reported. And as well, Toya, Texas, 3.2 here in Mexico, San Vincent. And Canaraville, Utah 3.1, Stanley, Idaho 2.6, 2.7 here in Hayfork, California, and Ferndale 3.0. Other than that, no major earthquakes to report in North American soil. Sizable 3.5 here reported Pahala, Hawaii. Looking across the Aleutian Islands, pretty quiet, but residual minor earthquakes throughout the region. As well, activity coming back to Japan. Only a couple earthquakes. But here in the northern Shikotan, Russia. As well, Hasaki, Japan, 4.5. And Matsuki, Japan, 4.6. Over into the Indian plate here in Malwak, Myanmar, 4.5. And as well, a 4.3. India, right up into the Indian plate. Iran reporting a 4.2. Sarpol, Iran, at a 10-kilometer depth. 
And as well, a pretty rare earthquake here, Italy, Leni, Italy, 4.4. And that is just west of Etna. And as well, that volcano, volcano, which was reported in the volcanic activity report. As well, I wanted to give you a quick update here on La Palma. Three hours ago, they reported a 4.3 earthquake. But throughout the region, the last 24 hours, it has been pretty busy. And as well, more northern earthquakes. You can see here, this one, 3.0, reported pretty far north of the initial eruption and all of the other earthquake swarms. So we could st see some more lava activity coming back to La Palma. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that's been affected by this massive eruption that has been ongoing now for months. We'll carry on here. 4.9 earthquake, 539 kilometer depth in Timor-Leste, and that's right by Luatolo volcano. 4.5 there, Papua New Guinea. 4.7, Kirikira, Solomon Islands, 10 kilometer depth. And then our deepest earthquakes today, 4.1, Fiji region, 568 kilometer depth, as well as 4.2, 496 kilometer depth. So this was after the large earthquake that we saw early this morning in Peru. We can expect a larger and shallower earthquake to follow. Please, just have, have a heads up, have a plan, and stay aware and prepared, everybody. That includes having a bug out bag with all of your essentials ready in a place close to your exit. Know what you need to do when an earthquake strikes. Know what you need to do when any disaster strikes. It's even better if you get a heads up with morning dew. You would have knew if you got your dew. So please share this video today. Having a look at satellite imagery, the highs and the lows. Looking over the Pacific Ocean, this massive low pressure system is going to be heading into Alaska this week. A lot of moisture. And as well, we've got the rain train heading into Vancouver. And a long line of moisture heading through the Atlantic as well. Long atmospheric river in the Atlantic and the Pacific. Very interesting days indeed. What is wrong with our weather? Well, let's have a look at the five-day forecast. Brought to you by Meteor Earth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here in home base, Ontario. As yeah, you can see those temperatures are going to be climbing up, but then falling right back down again. Up to minus four here the next couple days with a bit more snow heading into Tuesday, Wednesday. But then after that, you're going to see some pretty warm temperatures moving in. And another Alberta clipper moving into the province of Ontario. And it looks like southern regions will be rain and the northern will be snow. Watch for that to head out to the Atlantic provinces. And then another Alberta clipper forming a central Saskatchewan, and then look at this, all of the rain and snow coming in from these systems off the Pacific Ocean right now is just insane. And there's going to be a lot of snow falling through parts of Alaska, in which I warned two nights ago with the last daily dew. And very dry across the United States, no major weather systems affecting you this week, strong high pressure ridge. As well, overlooking Europe, you've got a pretty gray week ahead of you there as well. Straight across, west to east, all of Europe is going to be covered in cloud, rain, or snow. So, long week ahead of you guys, not much sunshine. So, stay happy, stay smiling, stay aware and prepared. Overlooking Southeast Asia, still pretty strong high-pressure ridge over the Tibetan Plateau. And as well, a big system heading into parts of western Russia with some really cold temperatures bottoming out at minus 43 in some areas. But watch for that, those really cold temperatures to swing around really soon. And then overlooking the West Pacific here, still a massive system heading through here. What is wrong with our weather? Wow. And it looks like it's going to suck up a typhoon in the long-range forecast there. 
Wow, insane. So many strange events. Watch for a monster storm possibly develop here in the Central Pacific. Could be a super typhoon in the long range forecast. Overlooking India, low pressure system heading strangely up the western coast and up into uh, Mongolia. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Micronesia, Australia. Watch for a lot of rain. New South Wales is already posting a lot of flood alerts, flash floods through the region. Watch for rain to move through Brisbane and all of southeastern Australia. New Zealand, you've got rain moving in this week as well. High pressure ridge will be leaving by Wednesday. And then rain moving in. Hawaii as well, you've got atmospheric river of moisture affecting you this week. So stay dry, my Hawaiian friends. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains, no major weather systems to talk about. Except for heavy rains possible. Coastal regions, Brazil. Same thing with Africa. Not much to talk about here. No major weather systems affecting you. Daily evaporation rains could see more, in my opinion. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the highs and the lows on our world right now. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button, possibly share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.